Whoever Champions League has shown us another beautiful night, another wonderful night where Real Madrid and Bayern Munich took Arsenal and Man City res um, respectively. I don't know which would I put it, but you know, I'm so happy, you know. Um, you know, this season, you know, everyone was talking about Man City will do the, the you know, the double, like the triple again, the treble again, the treble again. You know, even their own fans were, you know, so confident that they will do the treble again. But, you know, it's not everything how you want. Sometimes you just have to know that you have to be patient, you have to be respectful, you have to go through the challenges. And even some of their players were saying today that um, we want to win it back to back, you know, make history. I know it's ambition, ambitious, you know. And every team should have, you know, the ambition to do it and again and again and again and again. But, you know, first to do it, then think about it. If reach the final, then think about it, you know. Uh, let's talk about the games, you know. Let me talk about the simpler one, Arsenal versus Bayern. Arsenal versus Bayern was a game that everyone expected Arsenal to win. Do what to Bayern house, the circumstances Bayern find themselves, you know, off-season, they're struggling, they're having a rough season all the injuries and everything. But when we look at it, we thought uh, Bayern were the team that who had the stronger thing. They dominated the game, you know. Arsenal had here and there, you know, the <clears throat> the management and the control of the game. But all in all, they were they were dominated. They really got dominated. They really got this out, outplayed, you know. They really got, <clears throat> you know, schooled. So Arsenal really deserves to lose tonight and you know Arsenal I don't know I don't like making predictions but this might be the end of the all their hopes that you know still for your hopes they, they dropped points against Aston Villa on, on Sunday and now they are losing their Champions League semi quarter final uh, you know so does this make Artata you know the near miss you know but Artata has done a good job at Arsenal, so no one can say anything about it. So let's go to the main ma the main game of the day, <clears throat> as uh, Real Madrid versus Man City. Man City versus Real Madrid. Real Madrid just waited for Man City to play football, you know. There's one thing I learned tonight or respected tonight. Jose Mourinho scores football. You know, I give you the ball, I take the points, you know. They gave them the ball and they went through, you know. De Bruyne should have scored the chance he missed. Haaland should have scored that one he missed in 90th minute. You know, those things. And another game, another big game where Haaland ghosted again. You know, where Haaland was lost, where Haaland was nowhere to be found. Haaland, you can count how many times he touched the ball, how many times he had chances, you know. And that's where the difference between Haaland and Mbappe comes. You know, Mbappe, even though he had a terrible game then <clears throat> last night, the, um, he scored two goals, but on the other side, Haaland had an invisible game and he was not visible. So, I don't know, I don't like comparing players, but uh, that says a lot about, you know, you as a player, if you cannot be there for your team when they need you and when your team <clears throat> really needs to play. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne had one of his best games, one of the be best games I've ever seen him play. He was on top form, he was classic he was you know really really played but unfortunately he faced a keeper no one expected to be this good keeper no one even saw him lasting this long you know when Manchester when sorry when the, the Real Madrid got uh, Kepa everyone was saying Kepa will be Real Madrid's number one until Cotuas come back you know but Lunin fought for his place Lunin you know uh, cemented his position you know <clears throat> and rightly so, you know, he proved that he uh, justified that with this Champions League display tonight. Easily, easily, Man City will have won five or six goals. But he was the reason why they couldn't do it. So it's another good game. It's another, you know, Champions League. Does this mean, you know, we get a different final? As I said, I expected Man City to win, you know willing to go to the final but uh when they face real madrid you know even if every no matter which team you are how strong you are if real madrid comes in champions league you're always the second favorite and i said that in my prediction 
and my prediction still stands. I believe Real Madrid will meet PSG in the final, and that will make a different thing, you know. <coughs> and you know, we'll say a sad thing that I want to add on is that Arsenal lost their position of the Club World Cup tonight, losing to Real uh, Real Madrid. Uh, sorry, by Munich, and that means you know uh, RB Salzburg will take their spot, and it's deserved. It's deserved. They don't deserve to have three spots. You know, smaller teams have less coefficiency ranking and let the smaller uh, nations you know football nations by the way they are historical and you know regionally massive austria but uh football wise they are you know inferior inferior to you know so-called the uh, top five uh top five big leagues uh, so that's why those leagues have more advantage you know so yes uh, that's gonna wrap up my video today. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn notification to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.